Well, we'll wind it down on these 4th gen consoles. Only got a couple left. In this video, we're going to talk about the Neo Geo. Now, some people might say to themselves, what the hell is a Neo Geo? Well, Neo Geo was released by SNK in 1990. It was a home-based version of their arcade platform. With the Neo Geo, you could truly play one-for-one -one arcade games, but at a hefty price. Consoles sold for almost $700 with individual cartridges retailing for about $250 each. But if you like fighting games, this console was for you. In late 1994, SNK released a redesign that took advantage of the cheaper CD technology. Those games only retailed for about $50 to $80. However, the Neo Geo CD was plagued by horrendous load times thanks to its single-speed CD-ROM drive. The Neo Geo CD only ended up selling less than 600,000 units worldwide. Now let's play some fighting games and, of course, Baseball Stars 2. Okay, we got a launch box open. We got our consoles here. We're at about 6,500 games, tools, import, ROMs. Let's hit those Neo Geos. SNK Neo Geo. Okay. It doesn't know the platform, so we're going to tell it, even though it is default. You have a choice here. So Neo Geo had two different models, had the AES, which is the home base version, and the MVS, which is essentially the home base version, but in the arcade. So I'm just gonna say the AES. Retro Arch. It's gonna download the core. So the core I think Launchbox defaults you with is FB Alpha, which is an older core. We're gonna use the newer core of FB Neo. And we're going to use something else for the CD, but we'll get to that later. Next, 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 next. Bezels, next. These are what it's importing. You may have some double games due to versions. That's fine. You can combine them later. Importing the games. There's your SNK Neo Geo AES, starting to download the media. Okay, we added 264 files. Let's import Neo Geo CD. Add folder, PC, ROM files. Send K, Neo Geo CD. Now, the Neo Geo CD is kind of tricky. You have to download a BIOS for it, but you can't put the BIOS in the normal location. And LaunchBox doesn't ask you where you want to put your BIOS file, like it did with the Sega CD BIOS and the Super Graphics BIOS. Fault all through. These are the games we're importing. Okay, pretty soon you'll see SNK Neo Geo CD. There it is. It's downloading game art or media. Love me some baseball stars. Love that on the original NES. So much better on the Neo Geo CD. It's great in MAME, too. Neo Geo now installed. Now let's configure the emulators. I'm going to go into Manage, Emulators, RetroArch, Associated Platforms. Let's look at our SNK. Okay, we have FB Alpha. We want to change the AES to FB Neo. We want to change the MVS. In case we add that separately to FB Neo and the Neo Geo CD. Now, if your Neo Geo CD ROM files are in bin queue, you can use FB Neo. My 
CD-ROM files are in a CHD format or CHUD. Um, so in order to use that and to take advantage of those files, I need to use Neo CD. Okay. Close. But out of the box, doesn't work. Let's check out AES. Okay, AES works. but not Neo Geo CD. So remember with our CD-ROMs, you need BIOSes usually, um, and a good telltale sign that kind of lets you know that you're gonna need a BIOS is when you try to load the game and it just kind of bombs out, it doesn't give you any errors. Usually it's a BIOS issue. So for SNK Neo Geo, we're gonna go to this website, unibios.free.fr. I'm gonna go to download, I'm going to download 3.3 for CD. Extract it. I want to take this ROM file here and cut it. I'm going to put it in our launch box install under system. Now, normally we could just put it in here, or as we did with our other BIOSes, we put it in here. I'm going to create a new folder called Neo CD. I'm going to paste the BIOS in that. Okay. Let's go back. Okay. Now let's try it once we have the BIOS installed. Super Baseball 2020, which is in the past now. We still don't have those robot baseball players. Okay. Brings up the Neo Geo CD Universal BIOS. BIOS. So now you're like, why isn't the game working? This reminds me of when I play a PlayStation game or a Sega Dreamcast game that goes to the BIOS screen. And the game's not working. We have to tell the BIOS what kind of device this is. I'm going to hit the select key. I'm going to put it in US. So if it thinks it's a top load... It's waiting for the lid to close and for that button to initialize and blah, blah, blah. Just tell it to CDZ. Kitchen Neo Geo BIOS screen. And more importantly, now it's working. So this is Super Baseball 2020, which is now three years in the past. We still don't have those robot baseball players. Now, this is also made for the Super NES, which we did in our last video. So, compare them. See which is better. I think they're pretty similar. This probably has better sound. Graphics are probably similar. Sprite size and color. All right, that's that. So as you see, when you go to exit a game by hitting your select and start key, you get that little quick menu there. That's built into the BIOS. You could add cheats and whatnot. If you want to use that for the Neo CD, you're going to have to change your default keys uh, for exit. I don't really use it, so I leave it the same. Uh, what else we got here? We got a double dragon. This is not the side scroller. This is the fighting game. SNK Neo Geo heavy on fighting games. Round one, fight! Push you go! Pink, pink, pink! 
So that's double dragon. Probably the best game of the bunch in my eyes. And I've only played a handful of Neo Geo games is Metal Slug. It's a great shooter. Side scrolling shooter. Again, very colorful, great sound. Gotta rescue these guys. Little flamethrower here. Anyway, that's Metal Slug. It's a great game. Play it. Let's try the AES. See what we have there. You also have most of the same games. Although this is 264 games. Neo Geo has only about 90 games. So it's going to be a little more. So as you see, we have two different baseballs. If you want to combine them, grab one, grab the other, hold down the shift key, and go combine selected games. That's what it's going to be. Hit OK. And then you can play it whatever version you want. You have the two different ones. OK. So whenever you find multiple versions of a game. Same thing, you can do this to all three of them. And then you can pick what you want as the default. Let's combine these. Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, 2003, bootleg, bootleg, bootleg. Pick whichever one you want. I don't know why I have three of them. Oh, Super Plus and Super Plus alter Alternate. I don't know. Let's make it just a regular one. And if you want to play the other one, you could right click and play the versions. You can leave them separate if you want. It's up to you. It's not a bad idea to do a little housekeeping here and there. That's probably why it's 264 games. What is this? This looks like a boxing game. Let's try it. Legend of Success Joe. Is that like Glass Joe? Well, if this was a boxing game, maybe it's a street boxing game. Or maybe eventually you work into it. I don't know. That's that. Play around Neo Geo. Some cool stuff. So, that's it for Neo Geo. We only have one more system to go to Philips CDI. Neo Geo CD is a little tricky with the BIOS. 
all in all, it's all the same tools, import, ROM files. I think from there, you kind of figure out. Uh, Philips CDI is a little, much like the Neo Geo, it's a little tricky to get started. So we're going to work on that one next. Have fun, play some Neo Geo. Make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you out with some baseball stars too.